There he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in bread halfwit? <clears throat> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Let's do this. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C. 4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. This is it, boys. Moment of truth. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you's gonna get is a bullet to the heart! Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But sir... You too! Okay, okay. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? 
What's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids! Too many casualties already! Don't make this any more difficult! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys!
Check over there, boys. Someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I.
police are here. in the vicinity, Nico. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Go find him. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the Fed. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead <laughs> and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cut dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. Cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there. Give me a call.
yards. Turn left, then immediately left. Found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Tiene algún problema, pendejo? Slit your throat, motherfucker. What is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. <laughs> The Heart Stopper, the all-new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six-pound burger. Shaniqua, baby. Look, girl, Five O was trying to kill me, and I was real stressed, and she was there for me. I didn't know she was your sister. I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. Nico! Nico! Hey, uh, do I know you? Yeah, you know me, Sharice. I used to go out with Dwayne. You, you know, you... I spared you? Yeah. Why did you stop me? What do you want? Well, I just wanted to say thank you, you know, for your kindness. <laughs> I'm not always kind. Uh, don't worry about it. What are you up to? Well, after, after what happened, you know, I just wanted to change my life, turn things around. You know, no more gangbangers and drug dealers. Turn over a new leaf, you know? Good for you. Yeah, and things was, they were going pretty well, but I like danger. The only thing is, danger don't like me. Hey, hey, <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. It's my own stupid fault. I deserve to be hit. Who's hitting you? My boyfriend. 
Please don't do anything. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to teach you not to hit women. He opened the projects up on Frankfurt Avenue. Please don't kill him. Maybe your problem is getting involved with all these drug dealers and two-bit pushers. I had some bad luck with my men. You're right, though. I should find a man who ain't in the life. Get rid of this guy before thinking about another. That's a thug over there! Wait here. I'll teach him his lesson. Hey! You think beating women is cool? Hell, you talking about Sharice? How that bitch expected to learn if I ain't giving her the stick? Yeah, <laughs> I give her the carrot as well, but she don't complain about that. You won't think this is so funny when you're the one crying like a bitch. A bitch gotta learn to <laughs> be the only one when you teach her. <laughs> uh, she said is you some charity worker or something? Stay the fuck away from Sharice. And then the other woman you think about beating. Yeah, yeah. Ah! He ain't going to beat you no more. So get out. Away from here. I gave you a chance when I first met you. Use it. I'm gonna try. That's the least I can do. See you, and thanks. I bumped into her, man. I helped her out with the problem she was having. So you ain't no item? It ain't like that, is it, Nico? Oh, man. Don't worry about that. She's not my type. We'll hang out soon. Fuck. Hey, Nico, they got pool in Eastern Europe? Ah, <laughs> just joking. Let's go play a few racks. Pool could be fun. I'll pick you up in the next hour. We got a plan, Nico. I'll wait for you. Nicky! Brucey, baby! You want to roll with the heavy bling of my chopper? Not right now, man. Maybe we'll go for a chopper ride some other time. I was just getting jacked up thinking about hanging with you. Shit! Another time, bro. Nico, we're good to go. Nico, boy, how's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Trying to make ends meet. Aren't we all, Nico? Aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water, other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> That's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. It's this fucking chop it's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it. But once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get hard. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. I'm a fucking hustler, Nico. You ain't never gonna beat me at pool. Greeting, Star. Shit. Come on, next shot. Oh. 
Oh dear, you ain't doing well. Yeah. Unlucky. I'm sorry. One more time for the boys? Nico, you beat me a pool. That don't make you a Take better care. man. Drop me a Mars, will ya? Later on, man. Call me. Hey, Nico. Ray. Take a seat. Thank you. So, you took care of that thing? Yes. I appreciate that. Hey, no, nope. I look after my friends. I got a lot of friends. Important friends. Jimmy Pegarino is a personal friend of mine. More or less. <coughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. My God, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. You've been what? <coughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? White trash motherfucker. What is wrong with you? Give me a break, okay? I feel like death. Hey, hey, hey. What? It's because I care. You know that. Yeah, I know that. Now, speaking of the ice. Yeah, they got it. They they left it where you said. That's why I came over here. Can I get a goddamn coffee yeah, here? Yeah, you look like you could really use some goddamn caffeine. I'm fucking coming down, asshole. I feel like death. Fine, whatever. Uh, Nico, need you to go collect some garbage for me. Garbage? Yeah, you wanted a career in waste disposal, now you got one. <clears throat> Can I get a goddamn copy oh, over no. here? What kind of garbage? Garbage with a lot of ice Today? in it. Today? Go over to F between Columbus and Denver. There'll be a truck waiting there. Three guys. Good guys. Friends of mine. Main guy's name is Luca. Go. Okay. <coughs> hey, sugar. <coughs> Come here. Oh, this'll be over soon. You gotta stop me smoking this stuff, Ray. I'm fucking killing myself. Luca? Yeah, you Nico? This is Tuna Fish and Johnny Spaz. Tuna, Johnny, Nico. Hey. So, we're all friends now. All right, Tuna, John Boy, you got the threads. Get in the back and get the trash. Come on, let's go. Nico, here's your gear. You're driving. That cool? Let's roll. First pickups in Chinatown. Let's head it. So someone's been throwing out the load of diamonds? You could say that. Ray got that tweaker chick of his, the bike abroad. You met her? Yeah, she's pretty strung out. Ray got her to get her friends to steal the ice off of some club owner guy. Her friends are the lost biker gang. I think I worked with a member of that gang up on Bohan. He was called Johnny or uh, something. Tuna, this is it. Grab the bag. Open up the back, will ya? Got it, let's go! Next one's on 8th Street. Move out, Nikki.
Did these bikers get so fucked on meth that they threw the ice away? Nah, it seems his club owners got more connections than a subway line. He's in with the Ancelotti's, the Dominicans up in Northwood, everybody. Ray came up with this plan to keep a bit of distance between us and the robbery. The bikers is taking the heat for this shit. This ain't the easiest way to pick this shit up. Even if we don't want to attract any attention. Yeah, me and Tuna was saying that before you got here. You were saying that there's a lot of opportunities for this to go wrong. The bank could split, the diamonds could go missing real easy. That's why we're going to be extra careful, right? We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Of course not. You know how pissed Ray would get if he found out some diamonds were missing? He has a temper. Are you fucking kidding me? The manager of one of his waste depots was holding out on profits a couple years back. Ray fed him to a dump truck. There was this point where the sounds of his screams stopped, and all you could hear was his bones crushing. Then the pop of his skull going. I nearly lost my lunch. Nice. This is the other one, Tuna. Grab it! Can you open up the back, Nikki? Shit, man, looks like we got company. Crap! Someone's got wise to us. Let's get the hell out of here. Drive to Fish Market South. Them hook ain't gonna be following us no more. Let's get the ice back. You done good, Nikki. This is it. You got us here, Nikki. Good driving, Nikki. I thought I was gonna be checking out for sure. How'd they find us? I thought that we went through all this trouble so no one would know. I don't know. These diamonds are serious. Anyone who heard of them would want them. I ain't surprised we got a bit of attention. You want me to take the ice to Ray then? Nah. Me and Tony will look after them. Sort them out from the trash. I sure hope we ain't lost any on the route. Things got shaken up pretty good back there. They sure did, Luca. Here's hoping we can find them all. See you around, Nikki. Luca and his crew have got the stuff, Ray. It's all in the back of the truck. Will you keep an eye on them? They didn't pull nothing? I don't know, Ray. You don't trust them, then weigh the ice. We'll catch you around.
I told you I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey! Hey! Sit down. That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. Because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> So, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean, I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. I made a mistake! But I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is STILL threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him and his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his pals up. Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shot in the Alderney. Go check it out. Make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! Would rather everyone go down than him take a ball alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. are here.
shit. Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same, though, isn't it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, shit. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. sense a little apprehension in your voice. I like it a bit, but uh, I'm not a crazy fan. Cause the shit went all commercial? C Cause people sold out? I, I hear you. No, not really. Cause the shit ain't real no more? Ain't got no intelligence? Real? Well, you gonna love my shit. Your shit? Yes, it's the real urban consciousness, and man, it is real. Pathos, believe that. Why are you selling it on the street? The majors are just pimps, and I ain't no bitch. No, I can see that. Man, if I have to spend the rest of my life preaching on a street corner, so fucking be it. Give it up for Pathos. Yo, Pathos, you a bitch and you suck dick. Man, you hear that, punk? Yeah, you heard me, bitch. What you gonna do about hey, it? Hey, fuck you. I've had enough of your crap.
Yo, thanks, son. You, you a child of the street. You know the truth when you see it. I, I'm gonna immortalize you. Keep it real from your man, Pathos. Thanks, man. I'll get you around. here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas. Any asshole with a buck? A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible. And remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down friend. Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. <laughs> exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen, the Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. They put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done.
Hey, Big Tone, did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it.
Jerry. I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. They'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plans complete. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. Our boy Stevie hit me up. He wanna hook us up with the sweet ride. He don't want you to give it back to him, does he? Shit, no, that's cool. I was just telling him how, you know, you can make things happen. He's gonna be in touch with you about some cars he needs found, if you catch my meaning. Sure, I have an ability to find stuff, if the price is right. Give him my number. Fuck, man, you are the boy. I'll call Stevie.